Well, my friends, it's another one of those days. <laughs> Snow day. Didn't make it to work. I got, uh, well, I usually go down the 52 from Steinbeck, and that road was closed. The radio said there was a pile up there. I hope everybody's okay. Uh, and a lot of blowing snow, zero visibility. So I went up 311. Looked like it was going to be better. Literally 10 foot drifts over the entire road. <laughs> there was a big front end loader there working on it. He's going to be there a while. I don't know how the snow got that high. It's crazy. That's crazy. It's like a two story building on the middle of the road. Big snow drift. It was too dark to film it. My camera didn't pick it up. So trust me, it was huge, tremendous. <laughs> so I called the boss and I said, well, <clears throat> I texted him, said, hey, roads, I can't get to work. I'm trying. I'm trying. And then I looked at 511 Manitoba, the road report, and they just closed all the roads after I left home. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. I mean, so the roads are closed now. So all of us here on the road right now, we're just headed back to our homes. Might have to work tomorrow on Saturday now to make up for this, but that's okay. At least I, uh, at least I have the opportunity to make up for uh, lost income, right? So it looks like another day of farming for me. This winter has been pretty crazy already. There's been a lot of snow, a lot more than we've had in recent years. You know, everybody was telling us, oh, climate change, everything is changing. We don't get snow anymore. Pretty soon we're gonna have a green Christmas or a brown Christmas like with, with, with no snow. That's the way we're headed. You know, everything's warming up. You know, and then this year rolls around and they're like, oh, we're getting 10 feet of snow across the road. It's climate change. This is how it's gonna be from now on. We're gonna have we're gonna have so much snow, our houses are gonna be buried from now on. That's how it's gonna be. Better get used to it and pay your taxes. <laughs> now there's gonna be a snow tax. I'm just joking around, beating around the bush here. Maybe I shouldn't be joking about taxes and stuff with everything going on right now. Everybody's pretty heated up, pretty upset with everything going on, but uh, I'm trying to keep it light here on my channel. I do acknowledge everything that's going on in my country. I'm keeping up with it very closely. A lot of you want me to comment on it and I'm trying my best to keep this channel here non-political. Okay, I have my opinions. And I'll just tell you, if you wanna know what my opinions are, just uh, if, look at my location on a map. I'm from Western Canada, okay? That's, that's where I stand. Canadians, no. Western Canadians, we're a little different. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, uh, in town here is not too bad. Roads are doing all right. Nothing to really report. Uh, there are, uh, everything that's going on, there are big protests and stuff rolling through town all the time. Yesterday, there was another big one during the day, and then last night, they were honking their horns everywhere. Uh... That's, that's sort of a, a good way to describe how, uh, to people who aren't from Canada, when you say, uh, when I say I'm from Western Canada, they're like, oh, what does that mean? Uh, there's a lot of horns honking everywhere. That's what it means. Everywhere you go, Canada flags, horns honking, people driving around in convoys. Like, it's, it's just the thing to do. That's, that's what Western Canada is. They're very upset right now. You might be thinking to yourself, if you're not from Canada, and you're like, oh, I thought all the noise and all the action was in Ottawa. Well, yeah, that's the one that's in the news all the time. It's not just in Ottawa. It's in every major city in the country. Everywhere. And all the countryside. Every small town. Like, this town gets noisy. Very passionate. Very passionate. Tomorrow's Saturday. It's the weekend. All of these people get off work. It's gonna be busy, it's gonna be noisy, it's gonna be passionate. We'll see what's, uh, what's gonna happen, but. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a very passionate time in our country right now. Uh, I've never seen so many Canada flags flying everywhere. I mean, maybe it's not like that in every part of the country, but I know out west here, that's all you see, that's all you hear. And we're back. I only got like half an hour of farming in. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. I didn't even screen record any of it. That's how little time I had. The weather cleared up, the roads opened up, and I got the message, hey, roads are open. So here we go. It's 9.30 a.m. right now. 
So we're headed in a little bit later than usual. We're a little behind. I have to go up to Toulon, pick up some stuff. And then I have a few other things to get done today yet, I believe, in Arburg. We'll see. I have to pick up some stuff in Toulon. That's all I know right now. And then uh, we'll go from there. The roads are all open. You got Subarus drifting around corners. You know it's going to be a good day. Looks like we still got the cleanup crew out here. Oh no. Whew, that guy got rear ended pretty bad. This car stuck here. Yikes. Oh, that guy got rear ended there. Well, the roads are open. Uh, they don't look open, but the government website told me they were open. And my boss told me they were open. So, here we go. I'm sure it gets better. I, I did look at the traffic cams and stuff, and everything does get better out there. Just like yesterday, but we're gonna take her easy. Take her easy. The boss says the roads are open. The roads are open. Right? <laughs> the government said it too, so we can't argue with the government, right? They're always right. If you ever wondered what Manitoba would look like on like a postcard, here it is. Beautiful, isn't it? Got a little house on the prairie right here. The road's actually not too bad here. We just gotta watch some of these drifts. They're a little bigger and harder than they look. Drifts may have, may be harder than they appear. You don't wanna hit it and it might suck you into the ditch. So we're just putting along here, going kind of slow. Uh, we got good traction on the road itself. But when we get into the, the treed in areas, it gets a little bit sketchy. But I'm almost at the customer now. We're gonna load up our freight and then I'm supposed to go up to Arburg and grab something else. I don't know if I'm gonna make it up there now because I had to get to work late today because I was literally blocked by that 10 foot drift in the morning, so I couldn't get to work. Man, these drifts are going right over the lane here. So judging by the condition of these roads here, we'll probably just pick up our freight around the corner here and head back. But we'll make that judgment call once we get there. I'm on Highway 67 here, headed westbound towards Highway 8 or 9. No, 7. Yes, 7. We're going to go a little ways up 7 to Toulon. We'll see how, how good that road. That road's a little bit uh, better established than this road. It's also not... It's also going straight into the wind. And here you got the wind going over the road, right, which creates these drifts. So north-south roads will be in better condition than east-west. This winter has been uh, something else though, eh? Even for Manitoba, even Man when you get Manitobans saying stuff like, wow, she's quite the winter out there, isn't she? Yeah, you know that it's a pretty bad one. <laughs> we got quite a bit of snow, a lot of, a lot of wind. But it's been good. Yeah, it's been good. We're on our way to spring now. We're past the uh, the deep freeze. Stuff. I think it's gonna go down to about minus 33 tonight yet, and that's probably gonna be the last night, I'm sure, if not one of the last nights where it gets that cold. Before you know it, we'll be pulling out the motorcycle, getting her all polished up and ready for our first ride. Uneventful day but that's a good day, especially on a Friday, you know? No problems, no issues. The only problems we had were in the morning. We had that blizzard, first of all, that slowed us down, and then we had the uh, frozen brakes on the trailer I was pulling. Every single last one of them was frozen, top and bottom. <sighs> that was great. Had some help getting those released. And now I gotta park next to these fine ladies. And get ready to go home. It's the weekend. We have a bunch of plans this weekend. It's gonna be fun. A lot of fun. Let's 
plug her in and go. And it never stops. It just keeps snowing. Making up for all the past years. We didn't get much snow in past years here. So uh, hopefully we don't get too much. The last couple of years the farmers didn't get enough moisture over the winter for their crops to grow properly through the summer. It was very dry. And now this next year, I have a feeling we might have problems with flooding. But as I'm closing this up here, we're having another blizzard on the weekend. You know, this is how I remember winters being as a kid. But then for the longest time in my young adult life, the, the winters were so mild and so meh. You know, I always loved having a snowmobile when I was younger because there's always so much snow, right? And then as I grew older, I was like, well, what's the point of having a snowmobile now? We never get any snow. 2022 made up for it all. So uh, in the morning, I headed off to work, but that pileup you saw us drive past there, when I first got to it there, they had the highway closed, so I had to turn around and go up and try and take the 311, uh, which goes through Blumenort. It's just a different highway that runs parallel to it. And I got through Blumenort, and there was literally a 10-foot drift over the entire road. So I had to turn around and go back. <laughs> Nothing I could do about that. And then uh, the boss said, just stay home for a while until about 9.30, and then they had the roads all cleared up. And they were still cleaning up that accident, but they had opened the roads, which is weird, right? I thought that they would clean up the accident first and then reopen the road, but it is what it is, I guess. We got to work and got our work done, got the week done, and now I need to rest. I really need to rest this weekend because this whole week, my like I was saying in past videos, my brain is just in a fog. Just needs some sleep. High time for the weekend. Be back to myself next week, I hope. See you guys later.